Right now we're at our corporate headquarters and at Indian Motorcycle, a big part of our history is flat track racing. Indian Motorcycle is America's first motorcycle brand. And we came back and we made some great products and they're selling really well. But we wanted to give back to the sport of motorcycling. And what better way to do it than by building a race bike and going out every weekend and being competitive and going head to head with the world's greatest manufacturers. So there's no more natural sport for us to enter in as our first foray in racing than AMA Pro Flat Track Racing. This is serious. Racing is serious. And the people that have been doing this and winning have been doing it for years and years. So we're not cutting corners, but we're doing it our way. We're doing it the Indian motorcycle way, which means fast. We started on this project in October, and we hope to be racing within 12 months. It's crazy. I don't think anyone else in the world would ever set out to do that. But we've done it in the past, and we're going to do it again. When you're building a purpose-built race motorcycle, there's, there's no frills. It's honesty in the most purest sense, function, and brutal simplicity. When Indian Motorcycles is entering flat track, we obviously want to push the boundaries, we want to bring in new technology, but at the same time, we want to make sure riders are comfortable. Really, we want to make sure that we can put some of the best riders in, in motorcycle racing right now onto this bike and make them comfortable from day one and go out and get some podiums. We're here in lovely Bergdorf, Switzerland at our Advanced Engine Design Center, Polaris Swiss Auto. It's really great working with our team at Swiss Auto. Uh, they're really passionate motorcyclists. They have got a great motorcycle history. They've got a great motorcycle racing history. So when we first talked to them about designing a brand new flat track motor, they were excited. I mean, who wouldn't be to design an all new ground up race motor? From day one, when we founded the company, oh, that was a racing was a big part of, of the story, and uh, we we really liked the competition. Already in the third year of the existing of the company, we were in Formula One, no? and uh, and uh, one year or two years later, we started with the motorcycle the racing engine. The nicest part was uh, that we that we really could build the first. Indian racing engines in 60 years, so what a honor and what an exciting part of the history of Indian. So it runs, it, it has, it's, it's uh, all the specific data are even better than expected, but now we have to go into the development on the track and on the dyno to, to make it step by step competitive. Racing, people are coming out of the woodwork. I've never had more volunteers for a program or a project than when we said we're going flat track racing. So it's really cool. It's really fun. People come to work, they get energized, they work overtime, they work nights, they work weekends because they want to race, they want to win. So by provoking the establishment in dirt track racing, I think that Indian is doing the sport as a whole a great service. When I was approached by Indian, you know, I definitely didn't really understand exactly right away what everything was going to be. And then they said we're, we're going out and going to purpose build the state of the art flat track engine. And right then I was just like, whoa. I mean anything that you purpose built something for, you know you're going to get the best people in the industry to, to go all out to win. The first impressions of the new bike are definitely Definitely the technology's taken, taken the toll for sure. And the new Indians, a fuel injected overhead cam, water cooled V twin, it's tight, it's compact. You could tell that they were doing everything they could to make this a race slim fit engine. And getting on it, it I was blown away with how responsive and uh, how good it was, you know, right out of the box. And uh, right off the bat, I, I was excited, you know, grinning ear to ear, that's for sure. And, and I'm really excited that we can get this motorcycle better than anything out there. We're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway doing a top secret test. Yeah, I got the call that I was going to possibly be one of the first riders to ride the new Indian FTR 750. And anytime an opportunity like that comes around, you, you definitely take it. You can't not take it. So uh, I was real excited. Got to ride the bike in Charlotte, North Carolina. Spin some laps on it, had a lot of fun, and uh, it was a good time. Having Indian and Harley back at it tooth and nail, it's like Frazier and, and, and Muhammad Ali, you know, it's, it's gonna be good. So uh, the fans are gonna really, really like the action next year. And it's the end of July, 
and we didn't start on this project until October of last year, so to believe that you could design a whole new engine and a whole new bike and actually be testing so few months later, it, it's, it's just awesome, it's just amazing. The bike has made tremendous progress in terms of lap times already, but we have to go even faster. And the other hard part is reliability. It's one thing to go fast, but you have to finish to win. So the next few months are all about making the bike faster and making sure that it's reliable. And if we get those two things right, we'll have a winner. Indian Motorcycle was founded on flat track racing. It developed the sport back at the turn of the century. And to be able to bring that back to the track, to do something that's legendary, it's an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, this motorcycle you're about to see is the brand new Indian Scout FTR 750. This is our AMA Pro flat track race bike. This will be raced next season. We're stoked to do that and reveal that right here in Sturgis. This is the first time this has been publicly revealed. Put your hands together. We're out here with Indian Motorcycles um, for the season finale, the showdown in Sonoma in Santa Rosa, California. You know, Indians did their homework. Um, they built a great motorcycle. I've been fortunate to, to test the Indian a lot this year and, and do a lot of riding on it, so I'm pretty, pretty I know exactly what the thing's capable of, and um, you know, I think with the right circumstances and, and whatnot, the, the motorcycle's capable of winning right away. It's, uh, it's a great bike. The, the crew did an amazing job building the bike. They took a lot of, uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of questions and a lot of answers and really, really worked hard to make this motorcycle what it is. So I feel, uh, I feel honored to be a part of it. Joe Kopp's going to debut it. I think it's going to be really good. I think he's going to surprise some guys and uh, I'm excited to get on it myself here uh, next season. All the testing I've done, you know, I've been on the track by myself, so nobody to gauge against other than a stopwatch, you know, from the, the guys the previous day or whatever. So, you know, I know it as much as a racer. If I'm racing with somebody, I can go quicker if somebody's pushing me than, the, you know, than what the stopwatch might say. So I was really shocked in that heat race. That was the first time I got to go heads up with somebody like Brad at that level. And it really shocked me to see the top end power this thing had uh, running with him. I was like, wow, all of a sudden, you're like, wow, we got something here. My goal coming in here was to get a top 10, you know, first make the final. And uh, I had no idea, you know, if I was going to be able to get in out of a heat race or semi, what it was going to take. But qualifying just to start off at that high level and then you know, back it up with a good heat race finish and a dash for cash win, it was that was way beyond my expectations by far. We couldn't have went any better. Super stoked to get a seventh team. Fist pumping there, he knows he's got it. I'm in it for the betterment of our sport of dirt track and. Uh, to see somebody come in with a purpose-built bike like this and for it to work like this, I mean, obviously all the homework they put into it before they ever built the first bike, you know, it's huge. That shows the level of commitment they've got. And, you know, I've, like I said, I've got a son that's racing, so, you know, down the road, maybe, he, maybe he'll be an Indian rider. I mean, I see somebody like this coming into the sport and it's like, wow, it's awesome. Uh, I'm excited. Um, I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't excited and didn't think uh, the bike was great. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's got to be tailored for each rider, so I can't wait to get my hands on it, put my touches on it, and make it better than the rest. And uh, there's no doubt Indian's going to be winning some flat track races in 2017. It can be said that the dominant machine in American dirt track for years is shaped like dirt. That the power curve, the way the chassis connects the engine's power curve to the track, are the result of countless attempts to achieve a satisfactory match resulting in a quick lap time. We're passionate at Indian Motorcycle. We're excited about doing this, you know, racing and developing a team and, um, you know, everybody from, you know, Gary Gray to Steve Minetto to Greg Brew, uh, you know, who doesn't want to have 
fun and excitement and passion and energy around a purpose-built speed form and machine that is, has only one purpose, and that's to win races and go as fast as it can possibly go on dirt. We are getting very excited to go head-to-head -head with some of the best manufacturers in the world and uh, take it to a uniquely American sport and the, uh, the sport of flat track. This is just nuts, right? Like, you would never walk into any boardroom and lay out what we're doing and have anyone nod their head and say, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's exciting. And people get it. And anytime you talk about flat track racing with people, they light up. And there's something to that. You can't write that down on a piece of paper. You can't put it in a spreadsheet. You can't put it in a PowerPoint. But when you say, Indians can go flat track racing, people stand up. The hair on their arms stands up. They get goosebumps. It's, it's cool. It's freaking crazy, but it's cool.